welcome back to YC. We are here at my alma mater, Furman University, here in the chapel with my freshman music theory teacher, Dr. <laughs> Charles Tompkins. He, he doesn't remember me probably from theory, and that's probably oh, a good I, thing. I do remember you. <laughs> um, thank you so much for having us on thank campus you. today. You guys have a big concert, a big organ concert coming up, and I'm, I've always been, you know, astounded by the organ. And luckily, we have one of the top organists and teachers in the country here at Furman Thank University. You. Thank you. Um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, this <coughs> series. How long have you guys been doing this? Well, there is an organ series that we have every year called the Hartness Organ Series, and it is named in honor of the late Tom and the late Edna Hartness, who gave the funds for this organ way back in 1998. And we typically have three concerts a year, three recitals a year. Uh, two of them are performers from other colleges or elsewhere in the United States, sometimes internationally, and the third performer is usually yours <laughs> truly. So this will be probably my 18th or 19th uh, faculty recital on this instrument. What was it about the, uh, the organ that you think was so fascinating to you? Well, I think the variety of colors, certainly, and the power that uh, you can create in terms of big sound, but of course you also can take that all the way down to a whisper as well. Um, certainly the music of Johann Sebastian Bach uh, was a big influence on liking the organ because he is the greatest composer for the organ. And also just the use of the organ in services too. Um, playing for services and especially connecting with people spiritually with your music has always meant an awful lot to me and it still does. One of the things that I've always been interested in is like how do you your your feet and your hands are moving independently and it's just it seems like so convoluted. I mean <laughs> well there was a survey taken at one point uh, at least that I was told about and the survey was what are the 10 things in the world that take the most coordination to do. Uh, well number one was flying a helicopter <laughs> and number two was playing the organ. So the coordination, even if you come to the organ with a very strong piano technique, which is, is a good thing to have when you, when you come to the organ, um, you still have to learn the coordination and the pedaling completely from scratch. Before we get into some of the things that people can expect on the 17th uh, at the concert that will be happening here, uh, tell us about this organ. It, it may look like it has, it is obviously uh, you know, it's a monster. It's really yeah, big. It's a benevolent it's monster. A benevolent mo monster. But t talk about, uh, I mean, it has a lot of pipes in it. It has 2,929 pipes in it, and they range from uh, a little over 16 feet in length down to less than an inch. Uh, and of course, the, the longer the pipes, the lower the sound, the more bass the sound. You can't even hear a pitch there, it's just vibration and the shorter the higher so the sound so if, if they're less than an inch in length that's really high. So the concert on the 17th uh, tell us a little bit about that one. Well um, I wound up with my faculty recital this year being on March 17th which of course <laughs> as everybody knows is St. Patrick's Day and I thought oh, well okay I'm gonna have to play something <laughs> for St. Patrick's Day and interestingly enough I found lots of beautiful music for the organ based on Irish melodies or by Irish composers. In the end, I've, I've found some very nice um, pieces based on Irish hymn tunes, one of which is by uh, Bob Powell, who was organist and choir director at Christ Church uh, Episcopal downtown for 35 years. He's lived in Greenville for a long time. So there is um, an Irish component to this program. Having said that, it's an eclectic program and it runs from the 17th century all the way up to 1990, which is when Bob wrote this mm -hmm. piece for me based on the Irish melody. Um, one interesting thing is that I'm having two of our really fine voice performance majors uh, sing on this concert. Laura Woody, who's gonna sing a Bach chorale setting before I play an organ arrangement of it and John Potvin, who is going to sing a, the Irish hymn called I Bind Unto Myself Today. It's attributed to St. Patrick. 
And the great thing that you guys do here at Furman is too, is like for folks that are obviously music lovers, it's great to be able to come into the space and, and hear those pieces. But if you're just interested in an instrument or wanting to come and get more exposure, uh, these concerts are open for that as well. So. The, and they, this year, are free and open to the public too. Um, and I usually hang around afterwards and sometimes I'll hold forth and uh, even take people inside the case. Maybe I shouldn't say that right. on TV. <laughs> hey, 